what is the main difference between Java records and Lombok framework? Where should you use one instead of another? If you want to know more about this, especially in your code design perspective, this video is for you. Hello you, my name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel, the channel for who wants to become a better software engineer and software architect. So if you want to learn more around software architecture, soft design, Java, persistence layer, NoSQL database, subscribe in my channel and participate to become an ultimate software engineer. Hello everyone, let's answer the question, is Java record a replace to Lombok? To make it quickly, no, it is not. Lombok goes way beyond that. With Lombok, you can use Builder to create easily some Builder inside your classes, such as an NT. You can use not new validation and things like that. Another point is Lombok allow allow us to use multiple class and on the other hand we do records where you only are is able to use with a multiple class so i already explained in the previous video about why i don't enjoy much lombok in the code perspective uh, i introduced the person nt as you can see here, so I have my person, I can put data here. So I able to have my person and then change. So I will change the ID here to two. And then I can create a new assert equals where I will expect two. So I will create a test here and they run and it will receive a green because I able to change the fields with Lombok and on the hand oh sorry with records and on the hand I'm not able to so I will create a record class my favorite one is book where I have my ID I have my title and I also have my author so what can I do? I will create a test here based on the class and then I will create my should create a book. So I put here the annotation. As you can see, the ID as one, the title, the law of rings, the author, and so on. So let's run. And why, uh, what I will try to do next is to change any field like the ID. So I came here and I don't have set because all the fields here will be final. It's a multiple class. If I try to create a new method here like change, like set ID, I'm not able to because ID is a final. If I wish to change, I need to create a new class. For example, set ID, I need to create a new book with this ID. So return new book with this ID and so on. So to avoid any misunderstanding. So right now I am able to create a new book. So it's immutable with person it is fine because it's multiple and as I said um, Lombok provides several notations it, it is it goes beyond the data notation so that is the cleanup not new annotation getting setters to strings equals and hash codes and a lot of more annotation so it's way beyond um, but yes the record will provide you the the getters the constructor 
equals and hash code. However, those will be a multiple one. And another hand with Lombok, you can choose between make it a multiple or not. Okay, so uh, record will not take place of um, Lombok. If you use Lombok only to immutable, uh, like a DTO, things like that, yes, you can replace your records. It might be more efficient this way, but you are using the half of the framework. So Lombok is way beyond that. That is it for today. Please let me know how you balance the use of Lombok in records. And of course, please enjoy the video. And if you want to, to get more tips around soft design, soft architecture, and so on, subscribe in the channel. That's all for today. Bye.